Hi, um, today I'll show you how to create a RESTful web service using Java and then in a new video uh, I will show you how to consume this web service using PHP. So let's go to NetBeans and let's create a new project. Uh, we're going to use Java web and web application. Just click next and we're going to call it my my web service. Uh, we're gonna be using Glassfish server and no framework. Okay, so let's go to new and we're going to be using RESTful web services from database. We're going to be using that. Um, let's create a new data source. Um, select new database connection. Let's click next. Oh no. Sorry, uh, we're going to be using my MySQL, so let's select MySQL, click Next. Uh, now, if you're running MySQL in your local computer, uh, just leave it as it is. So, host is going to be localhost and port uh, 3306. Um, because I'm using uh, MySQL in another server, I'm going to type the IP address of my, my, my other server. So, it's... Yeah, 0 um, the database I'm going to be using is called test. So, test. Username is root and password by default is MySQL. Uh, so, let's test the connection. Connection succeeded. So, we'll go next. And just finish. So just let's just give it a give it a name. So my connection, my my, my data source. Okay. Now I I can see my two tables here. So it's company and employee. So we're gonna add them all. Click next. Like my package or whatever. Okay, let's click finish. So this will generate um, two classes from my database and also a service. Okay, so let's try it out. Uh, let's test it with, uh, now my, my application is running as you can see, but let's test the um, web service with um, Postman. So, I'm just going to copy the address. And you want to go to... web resources slash uh, let's select wait let's select uh, the employee uh, companies first so should be I forgot <laughs> uh, my package dot company uh, 
ですね。お<笑> OK, here it is. I had a capital P. So here's my list of companies, as you can see. I have an XML document. So I have companies and here's the ID and the name for each one of them. So all of this comes in XML form. Uh, if I want to see the employees, so here I can see the, my list of employees. So, for example, I have the company name and the name for each employee. So, company ID one, company ID one, but different employees here. So this is it. It's so simple. Um, I hope it it works for you as well. And on the next video, I'll show you how to consume this all this data from PHP and do whatever you want with it. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.